welcome your host, Jimmy Williamson. Welcome to Temple tonight, or as I should say, welcome to Temple Night's holiday special. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Ha Merry Christmas and happy homina. So. Uh, real quick, uh, Ava Sullivan and No in the Nose, everybody. All right, so we got a great show lined up for you all. Tons of holiday fun and Christmas cheer, but first, I got to talk about the news real quick. Youngstown State University recently set the record for most people dressed as penguins. The university then also set the record for most sweaty adults wasting a Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Taylor Swift's management has refused to take down a blog accusing the pop star of being a white supremacist. They're also excited to announce her new single, I don't know about you, but I wish it was 1822. <laughs> In Florida, a 50 pound block of cocaine washed up on the shores of Melbourne Beach, said the ocean, who wants to party? <laughs> Three elephants in Connecticut were appointed lawyers as part of an animal rights lawsuit. It's just like the saying goes, an elephant never forgets, and they'll see your ass in court. <laughs> and finally, on Halloween, a couple had their newborn baby delivered by a doctor dressed as Heath Ledger's Joker. I don't know what's scarier, your doctor being dressed as the Joker or having a baby. <laughs> Anti-baby! Wanna be funny man, Jimmy Williamson lashes out at baby! This instant anti-infant sentiment likely comes from his money-grabbing hands in the pockets of Big Diaper! Uh, no, 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 that, that was just a joke, guys. I mean, that's what this show is. It's a comedy show. I tell jokes. Baby say, beat it, bozo! Williamson claims everything's a big joke! Even the millions of powerless babies being spoon-fed by strangers every day! <laughs> I'm not anti-baby! I was a baby once! Denial! Sources say Tyke Tyrant Jimmy Williamson's baby hate starts as early as conception in the womb! Babies outrage! Jesus! Fine! Look! Babies, tots, and rugrats everywhere. I was once like you. No teeth and a proclivity for mushy food, but I, in no way, meant to insult you or your intelligence. You quite literally are the future of America. In classic Williamson style, he goes goo goo gaga over himself, claiming that even he understands the struggles of the newborn population. This isn't about him. <laughs> this is never ending. Correct! Williamson rightly assumes that this infant outrage will never end! Yeah. <laughs> and this just in, we have a great show for you tonight. We will be interviewing the authors of Milk and Vine, Adam Gashevsky and Emily Beck, and we have a great musical performance for you guys by Jay Mignona. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Temple Tonight. It's that time of the year again, folks. Time to reflect on how the past 12 months have gone and how we can improve going forward. As a public service and because we're millennial elitists, we have some goals for the world. Yeah, that's right. It's time for Temple Tonight's New Year's resolutions. <laughs> yeah, get, get excited. All right. When it comes to watching TV, we can all go a little bit overboard with the snacks and not even realize it. So resolution one, Lose the 20 pounds you gain from stress eating while watching the news. It's true. This year hasn't been a great one for the government and the media. So here's a good one. Resolution two, make it so molesting kids is a political deal breaker. <laughs> yeah. I think we're all for that one. Uh, you know, while we're on the subject, uh, enough of the Alex Jones guy. I mean, can we all just agree not to get our journalism from a person who looks like they own a sword? <laughs> very, very true, Jimmy, yeah. yeah. Uh, but enough of the politics. Do you have any, like, weird resolutions, you know, anything that the whole world should just, like, quit doing? Uh, well, I've been thinking I should stop giving so much to charity. Uh, 
What? That's my Why? female escort uh, with a heart of gold. You uh, you have a female escort. Uh, are you a police officer? Are <laughs> you? Uh, <laughs> Resolution four: Baby pockets. Shut it down. Why do babies even have pockets? I mean, what do they even put in there? Women don't even have pockets. I mean, come on, people. We can do better. How about this? Movies. There's too many movies. No more movies. All right, numerato seis. We need to stop adding or something to everything. Hey, Ava, do you want to go to the park or something? You know what, Jimmy? I love to crowdfund like, like a plaid version of ISIS or something. You know? Or something. Ooh, Jimmy, you know what? I have a personal one. My New Year's resolution is that I refuse to be interrupted when uh, I- We'll be right back with more Temple Jimmy, tonight. what is wrong with you? I just- Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy's on the street. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. The people that he meets. Excuse me, that's you want to be interviewed? It's for a TV show. You can be on TV. How about you, man? I'm on the ground right now. Woohoo! All right, you raven sweatshirt. No, okay. Come on, there's a person on the ground trying to talk to you. Excuse me, Would you like to be interviewed? I have to pass. All right, well, you do a great job, I guess. How about you? I would, but I'm late to class. Oh, but, but, but. That's all I'm hearing. Come on. How was your Thanksgiving, sir? Hey, it was pretty good. I did a lot. I, I ate a lot of food and I met up with, with friends and saw family. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Why are you on the floor? Because I'm hitting the streets. I'm Jimmy on the street. Uh, I'm surprised we actually got one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy on the street. Welcome back to Temple Tonight. Uh, all right, look. For the holiday episode, our producers wanted to get Santa Claus as a guest so we could have a fun conversation about Christmas, elves, and everything else. But we realized there was a typo in the request we sent out. Um, it's really unfortunate, but luckily, the guest we did book has been a great sport about it and is more than happy to sit down with us. So please welcome Satan. Yeah. Get, get excited, people. Uh, thanks for coming on, Satan. So sorry about this mix-up. It's really embarrassing on our part. I mean, it's absolutely fine, Jimmy. It, uh, it happens more often than you would think. Yeah. I get thousands of lists sent to me every single year. I just laugh to myself before I turn them to stone and force feed them to orphan children. <laughs> why, why are there orphan children? They know what they did. Okay, Christmas. Let's talk about Christmas. What is Christmas like in hell? Chingity ching, hee haw, hee haw, Jimmy. Dominic the donkey? The very same. It's the only song we ever play. You see, Jimmy, every Christmas in hell is like when your parents forgot to cut holes in the box for the new puppy. Oh. 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 Um. That's. Yeah. Uh, okay. I guess uh, gifts. What do you What do you guys do for gifts in hell? I mean. You seem like a simple person to shop for? <laughs> oh, quite the contrary. Yeah, I'm extremely particular. For my birthday last year, I asked for Carrie Fisher's soul, mm -hmm. a box set of Temple Tonight, hey, there you and go. a gift card to Benihana. Benihana? Why? It, it's so cool. They make the food right in front of you. It's just like that. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. You have to go. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, would you look at that? We're out of time. Uh, so actually, excuse, excuse me. Sorry. I was told I was going to get to uh, plug my app before I leave. What, what app? You, you see, Jimmy, you'll like this. It's for the millennials. Think of it as uh, Tinder, but with more white chicks. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. All right, mm. it's called Dayton with Satan. Dayton with Satan. 
for when your passion burns hotter than your herpes. Hashtag see you in hell. Hashtag stay horny. <laughs> Hashtag no fat chicks. All right, Satan, everybody. We'll be right back with the authors of Milk and, Hi Milk and Vine, Adam Gashevsky and Emily Baxa. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Temple Tonight. I'm sitting down with the authors of Milk and Vine, Adam Gashevsky and Emily Beck. So, let's <laughs> ah. How are you guys doing today? Doing very well. Happy to be here. Yeah, very nervous. All right, well, <laughs> since it is the holiday season, season of giving, I wanted to get you guys a present. And in honor of your book, I wanted to get you some Milk and Vines, but I just got you some milk. Thank you I so much. I mean, keep the label in. We can't afford a lawsuit from milk, so. Uh, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, but milk and vine. Oh my God. Like, what what was going through your minds when you made this? Because I can't imagine you expected to blow up like it did. Well, we were in Barnes and Nobles, and yeah. we just stumbled upon milk and honey, and we just liked how simple and like how contemporary it was. And Adam always wanted to write a book, so. Oh really? We thought it like writing a parody would be of milk and honey would be awesome so we went to dinner later and I said how about we put vines in it instead of all right this yeah so it was just like a, a thing rip. for our friends basically <laughs> just you know like in our group chat we just told them like oh, we're writing a book and they thought it was cool so I you know that's all we really made it for is just our friends and ourselves to write a book so like did you m you made the original copy yourself yeah yeah through Amazon they have a publishing platform you can use for free to make your own books wow and you just you just published a book like one day you were just like oh okay we're a bunch of like we're 18 what do you want to do today let's publish a book we thought it'd be like a fun couples thing to do kind of like a challenge like hey let's see if we can like write a paperback novel and, and publish it you know and we, so that's like that's a fun challenge we did it for the vine <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah makes me sad <laughs> all right but i don't know how how quickly did it take for people to catch on to this because i mean just looking off your original tweet like that's I mean, that's at 60,000 retweets last night. Yeah. Time. So, um, you know, I, we published it the 22nd. I tweeted about it, I think, in November, early November. And then November 5th, it really blew up. That's when we started getting thousands of retweets, started spreading across Twitter. And, uh, no, it really took off then. Yeah. Last I saw, you guys were 13th on Amazon. Yeah. We moved up to 9th, I think, in the past mm -hmm. hour. It, 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 <laughs> in the past it, hour? <laughs> it updates hourly, so it, you, it fluctuates a lot. Jeez. The charts, yeah. All right. Uh, so... Do you have a next move to do with your book? Uh, um, I don't know, a sequel, a, a yeah, movie? Yeah, we're, we're thinking about a sequel, a sequel um, maybe something to do with tweets, maybe you know something else. Oh, uh, we're, still, we're working on it, mm -hmm. but hopefully next, you know, by the spring we can have a sequel out. Well, since I brought up the topic of sequels, uh, have you guys heard of Vine and Tea, Vine and Honey, or Milky Vine? Milky, Milky and Vine. Vine. Of course. Milky and of Vine. Course. Yeah. You guys, you guys have heard of these? Yeah. Right. They were our first one star on Amazon. Oh, wow. So, Vine and Tea. So were you guys like the originator of this parody or did right. people yeah. rip you off? Yeah. We were the first ones and then Vine and Tea was the, the first clone to come out and then, you know, right. now there's a, probably a dozen other people like that who've made similar books. Are you guys like tight with these people? Is it like a little like they parody community? No, they oh, hate us. They hate us. Why do they hate you? They I don't know. They, you. they gave us one star reviews. Them, them and their like little friends, they... They gave us our first one star reviews. I was a little <laughs> sad. I don't know why. Like we're, we're not in it for the money. We're just in it to make fun books. We're happy for them to make like to make fun books too. But they're really hey, seeing us as a competition. They're just I guess, jealous. So, I guess. <laughs> yeah. They're just jealous. Petty. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean jealousy. Jealousy is a, is a disease. Get well soon. Get well soon. I, mean, <laughs> I love that. One. <laughs> yeah. All right. So since since you brought up a little bit of the animosity that's coming from your book. Uh, I don't know. I know that a lot of people are really excited about it, but <coughs> you're also getting a lot of lashback about it. How, how have you guys reacted to that? Um, legally, like we've talked to like a few lawyers just to get their kind of general sense of it, mm -hmm. and um, you know, based on the transformative nature of our book, we're not too worried about any like lawsuits because we do we, our work is transformative That's good. enough. And it just uh, the hate. I mean, uh, no matter what you do, you're always going to encounter you know people who hate you're on you and stuff. So yeah. we've just been ignoring it. <laughs> yeah. My mom's been texting me. Stay strong, <laughs> and she's been very supportive. Yeah. Very. I can only imagine. I mean, like, if her kid has a bestseller, she's not going to be like, "Get out." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly. 
<laughs> I didn't tell my parents about the book uh, when yes. I first. No, not at all. Right. How how long did you wait to tell them? Till it became number one on Amazon. Really? Oh, so it was just like, oh, hey, mom, guess what I did today? <laughs> yeah. That's what Adam did. I, I didn't. Really? I texted my parents the day it hit number one because I didn't want to tell them before. I, you know, the, the content's a little Read, vulgar. The whole, the whole. <laughs> I don't know. I published a book at eighteen. Wasn't something you thought your parents would be excited about? It's Not based on the content the of the book. About. It's just you know a lot of curse words and stuff. I didn't think my parents would appreciate. But when it's, it hit number one, Vine. they gotta like. Vine, like, then people know Vine. I mean, your parents. Not my parents. Vine. No. My, I, I took my brothers two days to like explain what it was to them. Really? <laughs> They're old. I thought my parents were old. Like, <laughs> My dad just figured out how to use an iPhone, and he knows what wow. that is. Really? Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting there. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I didn't tell my parents at all. My mom called me and was like, what's this book that you wrote? And I was like, oh, that's not me. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> you, about. <laughs> you lied about it at first? Because I, I just didn't want them to open the book and see all these weird vines. Because like. without, without the context, without like knowing milk and honey and, and the vines, mm -hmm. it's just gibberish. It's meaningless. A little bit. A little bit, but I mean, hey, who doesn't love reading about Trey's basketball game? It's <laughs> yeah. my favorite of all that one. All right, uh, but <laughs> since you brought up uh, Milk and Honey, how's the <coughs> author of Milk and Honey responding to this? She hasn't she contacted hasn't. us at all. Really? Not at all? Nope. No. Oh, I'm surprised. I mean, I've seen as how like Milk and Honey kind of like went a similar route as you guys. I figured right. she would just kind of yeah, like, like right. both self, you know, independent authors. Yeah, I yeah. thought maybe she'd reach out, but she hasn't. <laughs> huh, that's, that's really surprising. Yeah. So, uh, well, sir, I heard you guys were starting to branch out, maybe start uh, having your book appear in Barnes and Nobles and stuff like that. Um, we've had a representative contact us because people have been going to Barnes and Nobles asking for it. So um, that's got to be cool. It, it is. You know, so much has happened in the past few weeks. Very cool. But um, we are looking into that, maybe potentially getting to Barnes and Nobles, maybe like Urban Outfitters, something like that. Those niche kind of stores. Yeah. Well, millennials shop at Urban Outfitters. I'm sure they'd like your book too. Yeah, so that would be a good place for it. Pretty well. All right, but. It's looking like that's all the time we have for today. So, right. Emily Beck, Adam Gashevsky, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we will be you. right back with a performance by Jay Minonia. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Minonia. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, go insane like it's stupid, what you call that? I got aim though, I will fall back. I ain't stay the same, never will I ever fall back. Things change, you ain't no get the call back. Look at the diamonds dance, yeah. Look at your mans, yeah. I want a man, yeah. All of my pants, yeah. You want a fans, they might dance, yeah. I got a plan, yeah. Causing attention. I was in the game, yeah, I'm in the game, yeah I was down way low, I was coming from the flow Shake it down for the show, how you feeling about it though I get play, I get love, how you hit the shoulder You got to see the young and fallen, and I did it on my own, yeah that right there, I got ridicule from my color, so I bring my hair. They be sending me, and all I think it ain't fair. I've been dropping it on on this, cause I know that ain't fair. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get some cash all up in my pocket. I ain't gotta do this shit, yeah, there's no option. I can help, no, yeah, I will not stop it. Been on my grind, little homie, keep walking. I gotta do this shit, yeah, there's nothing on it. I gotta do this shit, and they let me on it. I cannot help but to be brutally. I got my hand on the game. Yeah, Look, got yeah. <laughs> like a zany, I'll be stuck in boy, I air it out. Yeah, either way, I'm about it, it's fair or not. Yeah, lately, I've been ghost, zany phantom. I've been on that lean back, dirty in my phantom. Now, why then? Why you doing me like that? I can stop, won't stop, cause I'm running through the trap. When I tell them what it is, they don't bleed me like that. I got things that she like, got the AD in the back. Oh, yeah, and I can stand it. All I want is diamonds on me dancing And why you talking, trying to tell me who you mans is And then I'm at you, yeah, cause you miss your chance Look, I ain't trying to do this shit, it's right up in my pocket I gotta do this shit, yeah, there is no option I can help, no, no, I wanna stop it Been in my grind, little homie, keep walking yeah, I ain't gotta do this shit, it's promise that I'm on it I ain't got this shit, they drop it, know that I'm beyond it I cannot help but to be brutally honest I got my hand Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, shout out Temple tonight. I appreciate y'all.
All right, thank you so much to Jim and Yona. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, thank you to the authors of Milk and Vine, Adam Gashevsky and Emily Beck. Uh, that's our show. That's the season. Thanks for watching, and tune in in January. <laughs>